friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this A2 size card that you can see here on the screen using the beautiful Sleigh Bells ring stamp and coordinating die set. I just absolutely love this. It has such a vintage and kind of like rustic feel to it. Really totally adorable with the skates and that bell cluster, the wreath, and of course the sleigh. Really fun. And of course the coordinating die set uh, cuts out all of those different images. Now I'm going to start off here by stamping out my sleigh on some white cardstock. I'm using some frayed burlap and gathered twigs. And I'm going to start off with the frayed burlap and then I'm going to stamp the um, the other stamp, the second stamp over top of that frayed burlap with the gathered twig. So the second stamp that layers over top of the sleigh base adds in some wood grain details, which is really fun. And here you can just see that I'm taking that darker gathered twigs and stamping that over top of the frayed burlap base. And these are all Distress Oxide inks that I'm using. So really super easy to use. And what I really love about them is that they dry slowly. So if you want to heat emboss, you can do that as well. So I put a little bit of clear embossing powder over top of that detailed stamp where the wood grain images are stamped on. I've heat those up now and melted them and now I'm going to just take the coordinating die from the die set and die cut out that sleigh and that will be ready for an embellishment for my card front. So I'm going to die cut that out and set it aside and then I'm going to start to create more of the details for my project here. I'm going to stamp out the wreath again with that same ink that I used for the sleigh. This is the gather twigs. I'm going to go ahead and do heat embossing on that as well just to get that really nice raised edge detail on that wreath. I'm going to take my Copic markers and color in that image once it's die cut out. Again I'm taking the coordinating die from the Sleigh Bell Rings coordinating die set. I've got that die cut out now. You can just see I've added some really simple Copic coloring. I did take one of the coordinating dies as well. This one here. I die cut that out of red cardstock and layered that over over top of the top of the sleigh and here you can just see that really pretty little wreath it's just the perfect size to layer onto the sleigh now I'm going to cut uh, sorry I'm going to stamp out more of the images from the sleigh bell rings set including the um, rope for the sleigh I'm going to stamp out or I have stamped out the leaves and the berries the poinsettia and I'm just going to stamp them again just to make sure I've got just a really nice dark stamped image here nice impression using that same gathered twigs ink. I'm going to again heat emboss this with some clear embossing powder. I will put the clear embossing powder there over top of those inked images and heat those up and I am going to color those as well. Any of the open images I am going to color with my Copic markers just to add again just some really easy simple color to those different images. Now I'm also going to stamp out some of the greenery that's part of the Sleigh Bell Ring stamp set. This is Pine Needles Oxide Ink and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp those out and get those die cut as well as little embellishments for my project. Of course I am going to heat emboss those with some clear embossing powder as well. So you can just see here I am melting that embossing powder. I will use those coordinating dies again for those images and get those all die cut out so that they're ready to go to embellish the little sleigh and the wreath for my project. And just love how these coordinating dies give you all of those different embellishments. You could create so many different types of little scene cards or all types of different little DIY projects with this set as well. There's many, many ways that you can use a stamp and coordinating die set for sure, not just for cards. Now, I'm also going to be using a paper from the Vintage Holiday Paper Pad. It's the paper that kind of looks like a barn wood. It's beautiful paper. I love it. And I have die cut that out using this detailed uh, stitched rectangle die from Honeybee. I will just show you that set and I will be sure to link up this A2 double stitched rectangle die set in the description box below. I'm going to add that to my A2 size top folding card base with a little bit of foam adhesive just to add some dimension. And now I'm going to start to build the details with all of those different little embellishments on my card front here. So I'm going to add the sleigh now that I've kind of figured out where the center is and how low I want the sleigh to be on that patterned paper. I'm just going to take some foam adhesive and add those little foam adhesive squares to the back of the sleigh and get those added to my card front. 
Here you can see that I'm finishing that up. And I'm also going to add the other little embellishments, uh, some of them, with some foam adhesive as well. So I am going to add that wreath to the sleigh with some foam adhesive also and basically everything there. I think I use dimensional adhesive except for the tiniest little pieces, the little pieces of holly leaves I just put on with some flat adhesive. So here you can just see I'm adding some tiny little foam adhesive strips to the back of the rope for the sleigh and I'm going to get that added on here. It looks really fun because it, it that um, pattern paper kind of makes it look like it is barn wood, like it's the side of the barn or something where the sleigh is hanging and <clears throat> it just looks, I think it looks really authentic and very, very vintage. I love the look. Now I did fussy cut some of these bits out instead of using the dies just because I didn't want that white edge on some of these pieces that are layered over top of that base. So for these tiny little poinsettia leaves or holly leaves, whatever these are, um, I did fussy cut those. Uh, even though I had the dies, I just felt like I, for these ones, I wanted to just avoid that white edge. And so now I'm just going to finish up with these little sprigs of greenery on either side of my little wreath here. I love how that looks. And I just love the extra little bit of detail that that heat embossing adds to all of these different little bits. Because it is shiny, it does just pick up the light and it, it does just really add to the the pretty nature of the card, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna add, take my Honey Bee Stamps Precision tweezers and add those different little bits into the details here. Now I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. I really wanted to use the banner from the Sleigh Bell Ring set. So I'm stamping that out with some um, candied apple uh, oxide ink here and I'm going to just get that stamped onto a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to emboss that again with clear embossing powder and just get that heated up and melted. And now I'm taking the sentiment from the sleigh bell rings. This one says Mary and it fits perfectly into the banner. There are two sentiments that you can use from that stamp set for the banner, which is really super fun. And now, so I'm going to just get that stamped out as well with that candied apple oxide ink. And I will also use some clear embossing powder on the sentiment as well. So you can just see here, I'm going to go ahead and get that stamped up. Stamp that out onto that banner. It just fits perfectly. I love it. So easy. And you've got just this really beautiful piece when you're finished. And I will heat that, melt that again, just on low on my heat tool, because I do already have some embossing on there. I didn't want to reheat that too much. And now I'm just going to take the coordinating die from the sleigh bell ring set and die cut this out. And I will have this gorgeous banner ready to go. Now I'm also going to use the Tag Your It Holidays sentiment set. This is so fun. There are so many tons of ways you can use these sentiments, not just for tags. And I did want to use the word Christmas from that set for my sentiment cluster. I'm going to ink that up with the pine needles ink here. And I will heat emboss that as well to get that added dimension as I did for all of the other little stamping bits that I did for this card. Heat that up and melt it with my heat tool and use the coordinating die from the Tag Your It Holidays coordinating die set and die cut that out and that will be ready to add to my sentiment. So I'm going to take some adhesive, again, some foam adhesive to back my little banner. I'm just gonna get that applied onto the back of this banner piece, apply it to my little sleigh here for my sentiment. So you'll just see me taking the backers off there. I'm gonna grab my tweezers, I think, as well, just because I like the precision that I get with those tweezers. I'm just going to place that down onto the sleigh and just a little bit below the wreath. I like that it's curved in that same pattern as the wreath. It follows the curves as well in the sleigh at the top and the bottom. I just like that repetitive nature of those lines. And now I've got the word Christmas underneath Mary and that finishes the sentiment. And to completely finish my card, I just wanted to add a little bit of extra bling to my card by adding some stickles in gold and in Christmas red. And that is going to finish off my my card. I had so much fun creating this top folding A2 size card. 
I did add a little gem sticker to the very top of the rope. You will be able to see that in the still shots of this card. And thanks so much for joining me today. Have an amazing day, my friends. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.